Hello, my name is Josh Gray. I'm a private investigator and um, I wanted to address some videos that I put on my uh, YouTube channel and I wrote this statement out uh, which I think um, I'm going to try to stick to so I don't ramble on and on. Um, so first of all I want to thank you for watching this video and I wanted to spell the notion that I'm anti-police because I've posted a few videos critical of some officers. Uh, for my entire life, I've looked up to, I've admired, and I've praised police. While I never wanted to be a police officer myself, I graduated college with a degree in criminal justice. My lifelong goal was not to be a police officer, it was to be a private investigator. I know that a lot of you will disagree with the following statement, and many will agree, but the majority of police in our country are good, hardworking, and patriotic Americans that have an important job to do under extremely difficult circumstances. As a private investigator, I come in contact with the police frequently. I often check in with the police to let them know about uh, a surveillance that I'm going to set up. I talk with police to gather information when doing detailed background checks. I talk with police to help me get leads on difficult cases. Sometimes police are called on me when I'm doing surveillance and a curious neighbor is nervous about me being there. The point that I'm making is that when you have this much contact with police, you have a unique perspective on how normal and professional officers act. So when you have interaction with an officer that does not act that way, it sends up red flags. I am happy to report that throughout my career as a private investigator, and I have been a private investigator since 2001, I can only remember a handful of times where I have run into who I would consider a bad apple police officer. The majority of my contact with police have been positive, respectful, and professional. And I've run into hundreds and or thousands of police officers throughout the course of my career. And like I said, only a handful I could consider bad Apple police officers. It seems like I have noticed the narrative when I watch videos about police doing something wrong, that if you're anti-police, then anything a police officer does is bad. And if you're pro-police, then anything the officer does is good. In fact, even when it is obvious that the officer is acting poorly, a, a pro-police individual will defend the officer and blame the victim. And vice versa is true. If the officer is in a difficult position, however, he's acting professionally, an anti-police individual will find the officer at fault regardless of the circumstances. Just because I do not want to bury my head in the sand and ignore police misconduct and corruption does not make me anti-police. In fact, I think that the best way you can support a police officer or a police department is by calling out the bad apples in that department. In fact, in 2012, I called out a bad apple police officer named Lieutenant Scott Ireland of the Maine State Police. I warned that he could possibly kill someone. And then in 2017, Lieutenant Scott Ireland shot a suspect in the back. Specifically, he shot them in the back of the neck. I also posted a video recently about a Peabody, Massachusetts police officer, um, Sergeant James Harkins, who slammed my foot in the door and went on a profanity-laced rage where he repeatedly insulted me. Before posting that video, I filed a complaint with the Peabody Police Department and I waited for them to do the right thing and punish him. However, they decided that he did not do anything wrong and so, to preserve a record of the incident, I published it on YouTube. I did not publish it because I was anti-police, because I hated police officers, or had any respect for them and the men that do an extremely difficult job. I respect the good members of the Maine State Police. I respect all the good officers at the Peabody Police Department. I respect all good police officers. However, I'm not going to bury my head in the sand and ignore the fact that horrible things are happening at the hands of bad police officers. 
qualified immunity, private officer employee files um, that are not subject to FOIA requests and other rules and policies are that are designed to protect bad police officers. No, oh, I, I, I wrote that sentence wrong. Um, qualified immunity, private officer employee files that are not subject to FOIA requests and other rules and policies are protecting bad police officers. We need to do away with some of these bad laws. We need to make sure that dash cams are in every single squad car in America. We need to make sure that every officer is wearing a body-worn camera that records all interactions with the public. We need to hold police officers personally accountable for their illegal and unethical actions while on the job. So to recap, just because you are critical of a bad police officer does not mean that you are anti-police. I, myself, support all police. And to end this video, I want to plead with every single police officer out there. If you see a bad police officer, have the strength and courage to call out that bad behavior and assist with prosecuting the misconduct of bad apple police officers. I hope this video clarifies that, in my opinion, the best way to support police and police departments is to expose the bad police. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I want to hear your conducts. I don't care your comments. I want to hear your comments. I don't care if they're calling me a douchebag like some a lot of people do. I don't care what they are. Just please uh, let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you agree that most police are good. I know that this that statement will upset a whole lot of anti-police people. And uh, I, I, I'm a bipartisan uh, uh, offender today because this video is not going to make anybody happy. If you're anti-police, you're going to hate this video. If you're pro-police, you're going to hate this video. This is 100% independent. The best way to support good police is to expose bad police. Don't bury your head in the sand, good police officers, and think that there are not bad police officers out there. There's tons of them. Um, I look forward to uh, reading all the comments and uh, fighting with all the trolls. Thank you.